Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Go readings. I'm Lord Bruticus. Believe it or not. And this is episode 49 of the Dark Side Chats. It's Christmas time 2009, and that makes this the final episode of the Dark Side Chats for the year. By now, you are probably well aware that the grandest of Star Wars conventions, Celebration, specifically Celebration 5, has been announced for August of 2010 in Orlando, Florida. Now, I sadly will not be attending. However, many of you will be, and if you would like to be a TDSC correspondent at Star Wars Celebration 5, uh, please send me an email at darthboruticus at aim.com and find out how you can be a correspondent of this show by interviewing other fans of Star Wars and maybe even a celebrity or two. Any material that you get that you feel you would like to see on this show, send it to me and I'll see about putting it on the air. And uh, I will be attending, of course, uh, Comic-Con International in San Diego in July of 2010. I have a telephone guest once again for this episode, and he is the founder of a costuming group devoted to the dark side of the Force, very similar in nature and purpose to the 501st Legion. Here now is my telephone conversation with the founder of the Dark Empire, Darth Craven. Welcome, Lord Craven, to the Dark Side Chats. Thank you. Well, now, you formed a group on the Internet called the Dark Empire, a Sith and Darksiders costuming organization. I was wondering if you could tell me uh, the basis for forming such a group. Well, I was with a couple other groups. I had been with the Jedi Assembly and uh, the Rebel Legion, and, but there was nothing out there for Sith. I mean, you know, you have the, like I said, you know, the Jedi Assembly, the Rebel Legion, and the 501st, but there was nothing really serious for the Sith. And uh, so me and a friend of mine started getting together, uh, Lord uh, Draconis, and talking about starting a group, we decided to go ahead and open up a forum and see how much uh, interest there would be, and lo and behold, there was a lot of interest. And uh, so we went ahead with it. That was three, almost three years ago, and uh, it's, it's grown little by little uh, when people decide they're tired of Jedi costuming or something like that, they'll do a Sith costume and join the group. And uh, when everybody gets back to our new site that we just we just had to get back up a few months back, uh, we will be somewhere between 110 and 135 members. About probably two thirds of those will be fully costumed members. So which is a labor of love for us because we, we've always liked the Sith. You know, we've been fans of Darth Vader and Darth Maul. And so we thought, well, it would be a good a good thing to, to start up to see just how how much more Star Wars we can do. Hmm. So, now, to be a member of the group, you do not have to have a costume of Star Wars canon. For example, in the 501st, if you want to be a Sith, you have to have a spitting image Darth Vader costume or Darth Maul or Darth Tyrannus. But in the Dark Empire, such is not the case. You can be a Darksider or a Sith of pretty much uh, your own design. Is that correct? Yes, you can, you can be a, what we call a custom Sith. You can make up your own character as long as it's a, a you know, good, a good design costume, you know, not just a bathrobe and a, and a broomstick or something like that, you know, but a well-designed costume. And uh, you don't necessarily have to have a lightsaber to join. If you have a fully, a fully designed costume and you want to be a character that doesn't use a lightsaber, that's also fine. You just use... Um, like force lightning, use the force, things like that. That's hard. That's that's your character. That's that's more than that's more than welcome. Well, at one point in history, at least, uh, the Dark Empire, your group, was uh, Lucasfilm license approved, and I was kind of wondering uh, how did that go about, and is it still a Lucasfilm approved costume and group? Uh, well, first off, uh, yes, we are still uh, Lucas approved. Um, we do still have the letter. I just haven't. Uh, I haven't been able to get it posted on the uh, on the boards yet, uh, but uh, we just when we got the group up to a certain to a certain point, we uh, contacted uh, Mary Franklin, and she directed us to another to another person that can handle it, and um, we asked for the copyright, and because um, we wanted to, we wanted to make sure we had a licensed copyright on the on the site to make sure that we 
wasn't going to get in trouble for using, you know, Darth Vader, Darth Maul, or anything Sith without approval. And uh, they, within a few weeks, they sent us a, a letter over the internet of uh, approval with the copyright, and it went from there. And all we're waiting for right now is uh, we've been in contact with Steve Sansweet to uh, renew our letter and our uh, uh, copyright. So once it's once it's renewed, it will be back on the forums. And uh, so it's just it's just a matter of getting getting them uh, lined out to get get it to us. But they're so busy with getting Celebration Five. Uh, organized and ready to go that they're, they're having a lot of issues with getting things done so we're just waiting for them to do that once they do it's all official again so well, now, on the website, uh, you have two honorary members, kind of like the 501st has an entire list of honorary members uh, of the Star Wars universe. You have two so far. That's pretty good. And I'm kind of wondering uh, who these uh, honorary members are and how are they inducted into the group? Well, they're uh, Ray Park, which played Darth Maul in Episode 1, and um, David Prowse, who played the original Darth Vader in the first three Star Wars movies. And... Um, we, uh, me and, and Lord Dakotas were at uh, AdventureCon in Knoxville this last uh, June, and we had had a couple of certificates printed up, and uh, we went up and presented it to them, and uh, of course you have to get permission from their um, handler or whatever you want to call it to get to be able to do something like this, and um, Lord Dakotas had talked to them ahead of time. And they said it was fine, so we went up and we presented them with the uh, with a certificate, and uh, they were more than happy to uh, be honorary members of a dark side group because you know since they're, they're members of the others, they, they it was kind of like boosting their ego to be something that was selected specifically for their character. So, and they were they were very honored. And Ray, uh, Mr. Park has his. Um, from what I understand, it is it is somewhere in his home, uh, in frame or something. From what I understand, so. But uh, he, they were very um, very pleased to have something like that come up. So we're getting ready to do some more. Uh, we just have proof that we can actually find some more that are going to be at conventions locally. <laughs> so. That's great. Be, we'll, we'll have a list too eventually. That's awesome. Well, I, I, I'm actually honored to be a part of the Dark Empire, really. Uh, so, um, it's an honor to have you. <laughs> great. Well, thanks. Uh, lastly, if you could ask or tell George Lucas one thing, what would that be? George, we need more movies. I mean, you've got you've got six, I know, but we need more. We're diehard Star Wars fans, and we've got to have more to, you know, to satisfy our fix. <laughs> that was the very wish of Star Wars artist Kevin Lyle, who I had on the show recently as well. Well, thank you, uh... Lord Craven, very much for being a guest right here on the Dark Side Chats. Thank you, Lord Bruticus. It was a pleasure. Viewer and past guest on the show, Jared Henderson, sent in these two additional lightsaber hilts that he recently drew. If you have any artwork of your own that you would like to see on the show, send it in an email at DarthBruticus at AIM.com. The question to answer for this episode is... Why do Jedi slime balls wear brown robes? I mean, aside from tradition and the fact that they are slimy, uh, put your answer to this question to answer in the comments section. Until next time, may the dark side be with you, and with you, always. Oh, and the season's greetings, yeah, yeah. Give yourself to the dark side. <laughs>